Hey, afternoon, Gio. Um, could we have an update on the fitness in the squad uh, going into the opening uh, fixtures, uh, particularly Rabi Matundo, Alex Lowry and uh, Kemar Roof, please? Yeah, we have, um, well, Kamar is still, um, still out, um, so he will uh, not be in the squad tomorrow, obviously. Uh, we have Alex, uh, he's fit to train, he's uh, training with the B team at the moment to get, um, to get fitness, also some, some game time. Uh, Robbie uh, had his first uh, per, uh, uh, individual session today. He looks, uh, he looks good uh, for tomorrow, a little bit uh, short of time. So he will be joining the group on Sunday to prepare for uh, Tuesday's game. So he will be not in the squad. Okay, and just with that in mind, when, when will Red Van Yilmaz join up with the group? Uh, well, Ridvan is uh, traveling tomorrow towards Glasgow. He is uh, clear to play. You know, he's been ahead of normal uh, preseason uh, with uh, Besiktas, so uh, he will join the group on Sunday as well. Thank you. Derek, please. Derek Clark. Thank you. Uh, hi, Gio. Um, is there any update on Phil Hollander? And, and is there any time scales on the likes of Kamar and, and Philip to rejoin the squad? They've been out for some time now. Yeah, there's no, um, no, I don't have any um, uh, time frame when they will be back. Uh, so once I know, you know, it's, uh, I will communicate. But so far, it's not, uh, I think Kamar will be. Uh, Quicker, he's on the pitch now, Kamar. So uh, hopefully he will uh, join the, the sessions as well um, in the next coming weeks. And Philip, we still have to assess uh, the coming weeks uh, how he will develop. David Tao, please. Hi, Giovanni. With the changes that you have made, um, do you feel that this team now? Is your team and one that plays in your style, your players, as opposed to the, the group you inherited from Steven Gerrard in the middle of last season? Um, no, it's always been my team. I mean, once you are uh, the manager of, uh, of Rangers, it's your team. So every player I had when I came in November, it was my team because I was responsible. Of course, we had some windows to, to get players in, but each and every player who I had in the squad and have in the squad now are my players. Hey, Kenny McIntyre from BBC, please. Giovanni, how would you compare the squad you have for the start of this season to the squad you finished last season with? Is it stronger? Does it give you more options? Uh, well, we have, um, I think we have a strong squad. Uh, you see the the level on training, the competition we have for all places is, is really high and uh, that's what you want when you, uh, when you uh, play for a team like, like Rangers. So uh, I'm, I'm happy with the competition we have now and, uh, and the quality in depth. So uh, yeah, I'm happy uh, with the squad we have at the moment. Uh, Mark Lingo, please. And you, you took over the, the squad and obviously um, guided them in Europe this year, but over the last four seasons, Rangers have had a, a really tremendous set of results, both in case of the, the number of games and the quality of opposition. Does that give an extra dimension to this season, the level of expectation amongst the fans for the European adventures? Well, the, the, the expectation is always high. Uh, obviously, when you are... Um, you know, doing really well in the last four years, you know, always uh, involved in Europe after the break. Obviously, we seen the final last year uh, is a huge uh, achievement, so that will bring expectations as well. But, um, you know, it's a new campaign, new season. Every game in Europe is, is quite hard. So uh, we just have to make sure we are ready for every game we play. And, uh, you know, the, the month of August is very important because we have the possibility to uh, qualify for the group stages of the Champions League. So, you know, we have to take it step by step as we've done uh, really well last year, but also the previous season. So it's a new challenge, a new season, and uh, we have to be ready again and uh, make sure we are well prepared for each game we play in Europe and, of course, domestically as well. Gabriel, please. 
I see you're just talking about European football there, but, but how big is the, the domestic challenge, the league challenge you have in your hands to wrestle the title back from Celtic this season? Well, I mean, that's, um, I think that's the most important competition we're in. Next year, we want to, uh, uh, you know, be champions of, uh, of Scotland again. You know, we, uh, we didn't uh, uh, last year, so we start all over again and we have to make sure we, we have a good start. And that starts tomorrow against Livingston. So we prepared well, we are ready for the challenge we, um, we will face. And, uh, you know, it's very important to get a, a good start and uh, get the three points, uh, the first three points of the season tomorrow. Uh, Alison, please. Um, Giovanni, I know you, you've named your European squad, Alfredo is in it. Where is he in terms of when he'll be ready to, to play again? Well, hopefully he's, he's already um, training big parts of the session with us. He looks stronger every every day when he when he joins us. So hopefully um, we can um, have him back really quick in the in the squad. To be involved, so um, you know we named him in the squad for the first ties of the the competition. So Tuesday and the Tuesday in a week. So hopefully he will he will get involved uh, really soon. And Lindsay, please. Hi, Giovanni. Uh, talking about the European squad, uh, there's no uh, Nikola Katic in that squad. What what is his future with you? Are you looking to to maybe find a new club for him? Yeah, well, I spoke with, uh, of course, Nico was uh, on loan last season. Um, it's always good for me to to uh, work with all the players we have on the contract. So Nico uh, was back this season and, um, you know, he's a great, uh, great person. And uh, I've spoken with Nico and, uh, and last week about his future with the club. And, um, you know, we, are, we, are, we agree that uh, it would be nice for, for Nico to uh, to to get an, an, an another club and play um, and play elsewhere. So his future, uh, you know, for the next season will uh, will not be at Rangers. Of course, you know, he has to be uh, he has to find an, an, a club where he can play. We will help him with that, and um, you know, hopefully, he will find a new new challenge elsewhere.